What do you say, Coop? Hey, okay. come here, buddy. Come on, come here. Atta boy. Let's do some tricks. Bring your wood. Bring your wood. Sit. 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 Good dog. High five. High five. There, let's do the other one. High five. Good job. Hey guys, uh, just doing a quick review on this uh, 2019 KLX. Flip this. Oh yeah, cool. That works, now you can see me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, pick this bike up. It's a entry level bike. Yeah, I'm gonna flip the camera. Let's look at the bike, not me. Okay, so uh, the big features with going with the Cowie. Um, looked at, like I said, Honda, the 125, uh, air-cooled, of course. These are all air-cooled motors. Um, the DRZ 125 and the CRF 150 as well. Didn't look at the 150 too much because I felt maybe that's a little bit too big, but I don't know. The 140 and the 150 are pretty much almost the same. So state of, the Honda's awesome. It's got a newer frame structure like the CRF 125. Um it's got electric start it's got it looks good quality fit finish everything seems to be right there um but the price the price came out to about five grand 4800 or something canadian <clears throat> after taxes and all that stuff so price was a big factor i didn't want to go that way so nice bike it's a little bit shorter than this bike too so that was kind of a a decision maker too uh, the Suzuki DRZ 125 looked at it, but no electric start, only kick start, and it's a drum brake system, which, you know, older tech, right? Um, and the other thing was the frame. The frame still looked like it was built in the 80s, like it, just no real tech put into the frame or anything. It just looks like Suzuki pushed the same thing over and over, and uh, I don't know. It was the cheapest option coming in at 3100 Canadian plus tax. So with taxes, you're looking at 33, 34, 35 ish, somewhere in there. I don't know. I didn't make the final deal with the guy. So I think I was going to pay 3100 for the bike, 100, 200 bucks for shipping, the shipping fee thing that they seem to all have. And then also. Um, taxes so it would have been about thirty four thirty five hundred dollar bike uh the one fifty we looked at contemplated but eventually stayed away from that as well looked at the Cowie. so this is why went with the kawasaki um it comes with electric start it doesn't come with kick start that's fine not a big deal um this is a beginner bike for my kid and and for my my sweetheart so I want them to learn on something where it's, they're not kicking it over and all that stuff. The frame system looks newer. It's got like a newer style. Yeah, it's not motocross or nothing, but at least Cowie is doing their part to make it look like it's kind of like their KX250 or KXF 250s or 450s. Uh, fit and finish is really good, I find. Um, you know, little added little pieces like that just to just to give it that extra bit of quality is nice um disc brakes disc brakes automatic right uh disc brakes in the back yeah looks good you know just these little things it is the smaller wheeler wheel kit there's three wheel kits there's like a there's the smaller wheels there's the medium set and then there's a the full-size wheels which i think were actually like 21s just like my uh, 400 here. So that being said, um, what was the other factor to going through the, oh, I feel like they all hold their value well, but I do feel that Kawasaki, now this is just a personal preference, but I do feel like Kawasaki holds the best value. And for the price point, I got this bike, at 34.95 plus tax which comes out 
close to 39 ish and I'm getting a brand new bike now I'm looking online for used ones 2017 2016 I have a 2012 I found one like you know 3200 bucks so I'm like for the extra three four hundred bucks why not go brand new plus tax obviously a little bit more so the, for the extra 800 bucks I'm going new and uh it comes with a six month warranty, which is really irrelevant with these motors. They're basically will go for like 30, 40 years if you take care of them, change the oil and do the basics, right? So, um, so yeah, that's, that's the thinking behind this bike. Why I went this bike. It's a beginner bike, easy to ride, easy to start, looks great, has good aerodyn aerodynamics, aero, whatever. Looks like time has been put into the frame and it looks solid like looks like a real beefy frame just the way this cross member comes down and crosses over here um, fit and finish really good so good quality uh, disc brakes decent weight I think fully wet with fluids gas everything around it's around 190 um, I looked it up I can't remember the exact number but it, about 190 to 200 or something 205 or something maybe so yeah we'll just quickly start it up and then we'll call it a day choke is right up here which is nice switch is here the little light comes on and it fires up so have yet to take it out but uh it's gonna be an awesome bike and uh if you're looking at getting a bike like this this for entry level kids uh your wife your girlfriend um that just want to just try out biking and get into it get into the sport uh this would be an awesome bike to start on so we will uh as always guys thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this helps you uh, decide on which way you're going to go. This is a KLX 140. Cheers.